Today we're looking at beagles and seeing what we see. Let's go. What in the United States of America is going on here? Oh my god. Poor guy doesn't even look like a dog, he looks like a sheep. This, this is just <laughs> inexcusable to ever let a dog get, get like that. Poor dog, whoever his owners were before were awful. The one thing that I'm always looking out for is what's best for the dog. And letting our dogs get fat and overweight is very unhealthy for them. It's gonna shorten their lifespan, cause hip and joint problems, early arthritis, and it's just no way for a dog to live. This is why it's important that we monitor our dog's diet, feed them a healthy food, and feed them the appropriate amount. Everyone wants a beagle until... Disobedient. They are loud. Troublemakers. They love to dig. I wouldn't recommend beagles for a beginning dog owner because they can be tricky. Definitely a little bit harder to train and just some of their instincts do tend to lead to having more things we consider behavioral issues. But like any dog, nothing that can't be out trained with enough patience and knowing what to do. Getting a puppy with super long ears. <laughs> we gotta tie him back, poor guy. <laughs> gotta get him a little headband or something for those ears or a smaller bowl. No! <laughs> you know, one of the things about owning a dog is you gotta have patience, especially with breeds like beagles, because they are, are actually very smart. And what we perceive as stubbornness is actually them trying to outthink us. But no matter how bad it gets, please don't throw your dog off the cliff. All beagles have three looks. What are they? <clears throat> Playful, yes. Sleepy. Kind of missed the bed there, poor guy. And <laughs> stealing things. I think beagle owners will definitely agree with the last ones. Beagles, they're little thieves. They do love to steal things that they shouldn't have. Good solution though, make sure we got lots of toys that are more exciting than the things that they're not supposed to have. We bought a $500 purebred beagle from Craigslist. And this is how she turned out, oh dear. Okay, that's, that is definitely not a beagle. Looks like a Jack Russell Terrier mix. I know a lot of people think it's bad to buy dogs. There's nothing wrong with buying dogs, but you have to buy them from a reputable breeder. Craigslist is not a reputable breeder and $500 is not gonna get you any sort of purebred dog these days. So if you ever are looking for a purebred dog that you want to buy, make sure you find a good breeder. A good breeder that actually is picky and choosy about who they will sell their dogs to. And then you won't end up with a... <laughs> Beagle puppy who turns into a Jack Russell Terrier. Okay, we're conquering the stairs today. Let's go, little man. There's one. Going for two. Up. Up. <laughs> we did it. When you have a puppy, it's always good to start training them and helping them to learn things like going upstairs as young as possible. A little trick to help them and encourage them to do it faster is just take tiny pieces of food and you put the little food on the steps, one piece of food per step, Every time they get up a step, they get a food, they're rewarded, and they start to go, hey, going upstairs is pretty fun. Not only do I get to go where I want to go, but I get a yummy treat at the end. Whoa. Mom leaves anything on a kitchen counter. <laughs> that was like two feet in too. Jeez, lucky you didn't get hurt falling. You know, beagles are extremely athletic and they're notorious for getting into things that they're not supposed to get into. So if you have a beagle, make sure you keep those counters clean and triple check that whatever you do leave out, there's no chance your dog's gonna be able to get to it because what happened in this video, they can repeat. Ideally, don't even leave stuff on the counter. Put it away in the drawers, in the microwave, in the oven. Oh, we got a, a musician. <laughs> I love how he syncs the keys with the howl. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Even his little tail is going as he's playing and singing. I think this little guy was definitely a musician in his past life. Kiki, the lonely beagle. Oh, poor Kiki. Another beagle? <laughs> Let's see how they do meeting. Remember, we always want to let dogs meet outside in a neutral area, so I'm really nice to see they did that. <laughs> oh, nice. The older one is giving all the play signals that he wants to play. That was a really good meeting. Having two dogs can definitely be more difficult than just having one. It's double the expenses, double the work, but the benefit to the dog of having another dog around 
really is great. That's all for today, guys. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what breed you want to see next. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.